Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping back into AFK Journey. This game has now been out for just a few days. Maybe you're thinking about jumping into the game and giving it a shot. Maybe you're, you've been playing since day one, or you're day two, day three in, and you're kind of curious if there's any tips or tricks that you should be aware of as you're working through the game. Well, I've got five I want to discuss with you, so let's get into it. All right, and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, all the links to my socials are in the description below, so definitely check it out. I've got a download link for you as well if you want to use that. There's also a promo code down there that's going to get you some free gems and gold. Speaking of, there's quite a few promo codes out there. Over on my Discord, I have a channel of promo codes. Everything that's currently available in this game right now, they're giving a ton of stuff away. Characters, gold, gems. All the promo codes are all gems and gold. But that's going to help you build up your roster with using gems for summons and things like that. So a lot of cool stuff that they're giving away, not to mention just through the events and stuff in this game. With that, the other day I put a video out on the top five things that you want to do on day one. Things that you want to make sure to get done so that you set yourself up for success as you work through the game. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link up to it over there. These videos... What I'm really focused on is trying to help not just myself, but others set themselves up for success and move through this game as seamlessly as possible. So I'm hoping these tips really help you out. All right, so let's talk about the top five tips for new players that I have right now. Now, there's been some questions around Keith, and Keith, uh, he's got this cool little store here. As you work through the story, you're completing quests, you're getting this currency up here, these Holostone coins that you can spend in his store. One thing to keep in mind is there is a daily and a weekly that requires you to purchase things from the Emporium. When you purchase things out of Keith's treasure hut here, <laughs> Keith's treasure hut from his store, um, that's going to count towards that. So keep that in mind so you don't spend things on the actual Emporium, which is out here, that you really don't want to spend yet, right? So let's go back over to Keith over here. When you purchase stuff from his store, here's my suggestion. I, I suggest that you focus on equipment first. As you're working through the game, leveling up your heroes and your gear is going to be the most critical. It's going to give you a ton of stat boosts. So definitely focus on the equipment first. If there's no equipment to purchase, I would then go towards the experience here to help level up your heroes. And then finally, last but not least, that's when I would purchase these soul stones here. So that's just my thought. It's helped me actually get through a lot of this game and help me level things up pretty quickly. So that is Keith's store. The next one is Iron Hoof's Forge. Now, honestly, I'm on the fence on this <laughs> quite a bit, but here's my suggestion. His store is pretty expensive. So if I take a look at this, go into making my purchases, I've got, uh, I spent so much gold in here, I've got almost nothing here. Uh, I can purchase one thing from his store. My suggestion here as a new player, when you go in here, you do get a lot of gold up front, so you can do some purchasing. I wouldn't go crazy, but I would only purchase things that's going to give you a boost to your equipment. You can tell because in the top right corner of the equipment, you're going to see an arrow up. That'll tell you that that's going to give you a boost. If it doesn't, you can see there's no arrow ups. Nothing here is going to give me a boost. Currently, end game, what I'm using this store for is purchasing this equipment so that I can max my resonance level on my equipment. Right now, I've got everything maxed except for my mage. It's taking some time to get these last two maxed out here. So that's what I'm using the store for endgame. But again, it's super expensive and it wipes me out of gold. But again, as a new player, you have some uh, opportunity there. And it's going to help move you quickly because, again, you want to focus on your equipment. You want to focus on your hero's leveling in order to move through your AFK levels. So that is Keith's store, and that is Iron Hoof Forge. Just don't go crazy. Just make sure to get the equipment that you need for the characters that you use the most. Top priority for me are my marksmen and my tanks. Those uh, are the two that I try and max out first. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and talk about the AFK stages. This overlaps with the video that I discussed just a minute ago. You want to make sure to get up to AFK stage 30 as quickly as possible because that's going to allow you to enter guilds. You want to always make sure you keep up on your AFK levels. These stages 
lock you <laughs> out of content. So you have to hit certain stages in order to continue to progress through the story. So always make sure that you're going and maxing out these AFK stages as much as possible until you just start losing. And then you need to build up your characters again in order to continue to progress. Once you hit 30 though, you're gonna be able to get into guilds. Why are guilds so important? You've got guild challenges here that award you these guild medals. Guild medals are important because when you go to the Emporium, that's what you use to spend in the store here. First priority in this store is to unlock Rainier. He is fantastic. He's great in every game mode, and he doesn't require ascension to be useful. He takes people off the game board, <laughs> literally off the game board, and then teleports back in. It's super helpful. He's a cool, he's a very cool character. So I'd suggest getting him unlocked first. And actually, I would suggest getting two copies of him first before you start getting any of these other characters here. However, get at least one. From there, I would then, I'd probably go with Dianelle second. I'd go Scarlita third, and then I would go Burial uh, last. But definitely focus on Rainier first. This is why it is critical. Also, you got Battle Drills, which is a game mode in Guild, which is going to give you some nice rewards. You've got Guild Chests that you're going to get rewards from as well. It's just... It, there's so many benefits to being part of a guild, especially an active guild. You've got so many resources coming your way. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, and you'll move pretty quickly. So that's the overlap with the last video. Next, you want to explore every corner of the map. As you're working through here, as you can see, some areas I don't have cleared. I'm working on clear, back clearing all this stuff since I've already completed the story on my beta account. You want to go through because these like these chests right here that are tied linked to these monsters here. So you got to defeat all three of these to unlock the chest. These have summons. Chests have gold and essence and everything to level your heroes. You get so many resources just by exploring. You're going to also get affinity materials in order to level the affinity of your team. And what I mean by that is when you go into one of your characters here, right up here, affinity these are things that you pick up around the world by doing that that you're going to unlock some cool stories and things like that about the character uh and some voiceovers but also with this uh you're going to get and unlock some gems right here boom got some gems unlocked well not unlocked i got some gems <laughs> for being friendly so you definitely want to make sure to do that i think it's kind of a fun little thing here to get just you know get some gems and and learn a little bit more about your different heroes also uh just by using your heroes in battle you're gaining the affinity also so it's not solely based on what you find in out in the world as you're exploring it's also with how much you use them and then finally um one thing that you're going to unlock you really want to focus on is your dream realm so this is the first game mode that you're going to unlock and it's critical that you participate in this and do as best as you can every single day and the reason why is because you get a few different resources right so you're going to get these dream fragments you're going to get gems and you're also going to get summons but aside from that through your rankings once you clear all these rewards here in your rankings you're going to get that as well you're going to get these title essences and these ones up here these gold ones these temporal essences we'll go over those in a minute and then you get some nice cosmetics you also get some titles the reason why this is critical is because when you go into the dream store here this allows you to buy copies of heroes that you want to ascend now my goal my suggestion here is to focus on heroes that are going to do well in dream <laughs> in the dream realm so i would focus on odie muriel i mean merrily <laughs> odie merrily and corin down here those would be my top three kruger's good as well but I'd focus on those three first, and then Kruger. And then after that, just anybody else that you want to do. I think those are going to be the four that are the most critical in here. And that's going to really help you later on in the game, especially in Dream Realm. Because in the end game, it's all about Dream Realm. Now, the reason why those essences are so important is because when you go into your heroes here, you re it requires, as you level up... If I can go ahead and get in there right. As you level these guys up here, boom. This ability here, you can level up once. It requires those blue title essences right there. So I've got a ton of them here. Uh, but when you go a little bit deeper into your equipment here. So this unlocks here. This, what do they call it? They call this, um, 
It's character specific equipment. I can't remember what they're calling it. Hold on a second. I can see right here. Boom. Right here. Exclusive, exclusive equipment. That essence allows you to also level up this equipment, which is going to give you more stats. Uh, and that's more end game stuff as well. So you want to build up as much as that as possible. Always for your main characters, get this second ability unlocked. Get that um, upgraded to uh, level two. And then use those essences on the heroes that you really want to focus leveling up their your exclusive equipment. But again, you have to get them to Mythic Plus first. All right, so those blue ones get you to a certain level. Those gold ones get you a little bit further past that. All right, everybody, that's what I had for you. your five tips right there. And the reason why they're so important, focus on Keith's store, on equipment first, then the experience, then the soul stones. Iron Forge, only use it when you have to. It does get expensive, so pay attention to your gold. But only get equipment in there that you need that's going to level you up on the heroes that you use the most. Again, I focus on marksmen and tanks first, and then everybody else. Next is clear your AFK stages at least up to uh, 30, but always stay up on them. So you can unlock guilds and then start working on getting those those uh, that currency so you can unlock Rainier and the other Celestials and Hypogeans in the guild store. And then finally... Make sure to participate in Dream Realm every day. You're going to get a lot of great rewards there to continue to build up your heroes. All right, everybody. That is what I had for you. Hopefully that is helpful. Are there any other tips, any other tricks that I'm missing that you feel would be good to share with everybody? Make sure to put it in the comment section below so everybody benefits. All right, everybody. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.